Housing problems may have driven hundreds of Italians into the streets in protests, yet for thousands of migrants in the country, the street is the only home they have. And even the lucky few who are provided with accommodation often regret they ever moved to Italy at all. Artesia Gorpiskanov met some of them. Some call it a city within a city, others a refugee ghetto. It's like we're still in Africa. Refugees from four African countries, over 1,200 people, all crammed inside a former university building in Rome, now known as Selam Palace. We think that we, this is Europe, so we may, get, we may get a better life here, but not. We weren't allowed to film inside the rooms, but a doctor treating the refugees agreed to describe the conditions they live in. There are 35 tubs and 35 showers, and 80 percent of them need to be repaired. The beds are also in a very bad condition. Actually, a lot of people sleep on cardboard. Thousands of refugees have been flocking to Italy, mainly across the Mediterranean, in search of a better life. But the country's own economic problems, including the worst recession since the Second World War, provide very little opportunity. At the same time, EU legislation obliges all refugees to stay in the country where they receive asylum. Those who manage to avoid registration go further north as illegals, but those who don't with local shelters running out of space for all the newcomers without a job or even a place to sleep, where do you go? And for the majority, it's the train stations. The meeting point for possible work or some cash during the day and a makeshift shelter at night. Sometimes immigrants from different countries fight each other, like the Albanians and those from Bangladesh, for example. There are a lot of them here, of various nationalities. At first they came from southern countries, now also from eastern ones. The whole region is full of immigrants. Our police already is engaged in very strong activity, eh? but Italy is a, a live alone. No? Also Europe must be solve this problem. Eh? The EU has pledged to give an additional 30 million euros for Italy to build more shelters for the refugees, but it's unlikely this will help create new jobs or ease the flow of immigrants altogether. Igor Piskanov, RT, Rome.